back to the YouTube channel of Pro Enzo Vid, and this, this is my round six uh, Super League tips for 2023. So, um, yep, yeah, another week into the Super League. It should be a good round ahead. I really am looking forward to some of the games this week, and I think you know this is why this round makes makes it out as a really good round because I think the games are are being played are going to be awesome, and I'm looking forward to it. So, it should be a good week ahead. Um, but I will say, if you are a new viewer and you are considering uh, liking and subscribing to the YouTube channel, please do so, as uh, recently the support and the feedback I've been getting for this YouTube channel has been great, so really do appreciate all the new support and, and uh, feedback, so uh, thank you to those who have recently subscribed to the YouTube channel. But um, look, uh, either way, it should be a good uh, week ahead, and I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing some key matchups as well, so um, time to get into my round six tips, shall we? Okay, big game. It is Huddersfield Giants taking on St. Helens for the first game of uh, round six. And yeah, it's obviously a big game because it's two competition favourites for this year, I guess you could say. But I guess both, um, well, you know, not not so much uh, Huddersfield, but Saints have been out of their depth recently. So definitely no doubt they like to find some form and get back into it as a Saints fan. They have been, haven't been too phased with like the form recently, so... Uh, it's important that the boys do um, string together a good performance. Uh, but look at Huddersfield's recent record. Um, they had a, before the Wigan loss in a 14-12 like loss. That was very close. Um, yeah, the, the two weeks before that loss, they actually had back-to-back -back wins over Wakefield and uh, Castleford. So I guess that Wigan loss will hurt their momentum. But um, you know, I think uh, being a two and two record so far isn't. Uh, it's not the worst case scenario. Like I think being, um, sorry, <clears throat> sorry, I meant um, they are three wins and two losses at the start of the year, so that's not too bad, you know. So hopefully, just another. No, I was gonna say hopefully they get another win, but nah, no, no. Um, hopefully they, um, yeah, I guess keep up, keep up the good form, but none to this game though. And as for Saints, um, they had a win over uh, Hull FC last week, twenty points to twelve. Uh, it wasn't that convincing, but I'll take it. Um, it was a win, so, it, you know, take it as how it is. Um, but, yeah, no, look, I think uh, this week the boys should be ready for a bounce back and uh, a bigger win. So, I think I'll go Saints here, 1-12. Um, to 12. On to the next game now. It is both the Coast of the Tigers taking on uh, Warrington Wolves. And this game has been played at Mendoho's Jungle. So, yeah, look, at the Jungle, Tigers are normally okay there, but... Um, their forms as otherwise. But that win against Leeds last week, I tell you what, that was pretty big because that, that that's a bit of a statement type win there. And I think that sort of win will um, carry some momentum into this game, I reckon. I know the Wolves are undefeated and I know Wolves are on cloud nine, if you want to put it that way. But um, I think if Casper can just sort of show that same sort of performance as it did against Leeds into the Warrington game, then you never know. But look, I'll go safe and I'll tip Warrington here, 13 plus. But um, there's a little suspicion in me that Castleford might turn up, but I'll go Warrington 13 plus. All right, on to the third game now. It is Wigan Warriors taking on the Salford Red Devils, and this is a, a blockbuster type match. And this is at the DW Stadium, so yeah, look, I think both sides are in good form. Um, both of them are backing up the way they did play last year. Had some, maybe both of them have had some losses here and there, but other than that, their forms are nearly the same. And yeah, I think it'll be a good game either way. Um, looking at uh, the Warriors' form first, or Wiggins' form, um, they beat um, the Giants in a tight one, uh, 14 points to 12. And as for the um, Salford Red Devils, they were very lucky to get that win over uh, Wakefield, winning 14 points to 13. So probably going to be a little, little bit better, as they you, you think they would, they would have smashed um, Wakefield. But uh, look, the win's a win, got to take it. But um, who am I tipping in this game? Uh, a tough one, but I'll tip Wigan because at home, I just think Wigan at DW Stadium is just a safe bet for me, but um, I would not be shocked if Salford uh, do put up a fight and uh, potentially win, but I'll go uh, Wigan by 1-12. Uh, on to the fourth game now, it is uh, Wakefield taking on the Robins, and this game has been played at the Be Well Support Stadium in uh, Wakefield. <laughs> now, normally when I come to Wakefield games, I usually just go to the opposite side because it's such an easy game to tip, and it's only right I go to the opposite side. But after, I guess, the effort against uh, Salford, it was not bad. Like, it, it wasn't bad, and I think they'll be ready for um, something to offer this week. As for the Robins, um, their form has just dipped off ever since that Salford win. I don't understand what's going on with Robins because they started the year as the most informed team, it felt like. 
Then when they lost to Lee um, Leopards, 30 points to 25, their momentum just gone down, down, down ever since. And I just think that, you know, if you're going to start the year well, you might as well be consistent. So obviously they've proven to be a little bit fake, um, the Robins. So yeah, not good. But obviously one win can change that. They're on a three-game losing streak. There's no doubt they'll be desperate. But same with um, Wakefield. I think they'll be desperate to get a, get a win at home as well. So who am I tipping? I'm going to back Wakefield at home. I, I'm being serious. I will back in Wakefield at home. I do think they'll get a win at home. And um, if they can play that same sort of effort um, as, they did against, as they did against Salford, then I think they're going to be ready and a bit more confident in themselves. Like they can push a team. So... Yeah, I'll go Wakefield um, 1-4 to four only, though. 1-4, to four, that's, if that's anything. Okay, on to the second last game now. It is the Leeds Rhinos taking on the Catalans Dragons. And this game's been played at Henningley Stadium, so home of Leeds, obviously. And, yeah, this does shape up to be a very good contest because Leeds and, and um, the Dragons have both been in actually decent form this year. I mean, apart from Rhinos starts the year, they've seen to turn it around in somewhat way. Um, I mean, a lot losing to Casford last week wasn't ideal, but I think just ever since they lost those uh, first, you know, two games to start the year, and that win against um, Saints, as we know, was a bit of a robbery, in my opinion, anyway. But um, they seem to have that. They seem to have a bit of a form shift. They're playing like a lot better and a bit more confident. And they were starting like how they did in 2022. It felt like into 2023. So. I was thinking when they were winning games, you know, that, that this could be a repeat of 2022, like the way they started and finished it. But, um, yeah, that loss to Casper slows down their momentum a bit, I, I won't lie. As for Catalans, well, as as well as Warrington, they're in cloud nine at the moment. Like, they are winning games. They have not lost the game at all the start of the year. And uh, they've been awesome. So, I think, yeah, look, I, I think... Um, Catalans will continue that winning way, but I think Rhinos will be very... And on to the final game of round six of the Super League. It is both the Hull FC side taking the Lee Leopards. And yeah, this does shape up to be an interesting game, actually, because I've found this one pretty hard to see, I won't lie. Um, so yeah, look, obviously, uh, Hull FC and Lee Leopards at NKM Stadium, so Hull um, home game. But um, yeah, look, look, looking at both sides' recent form... Um, for Hull FC, obviously, last week against the St. Helens side, they lost 20 to 12, and obviously, that was a tough loss to take him. But I think, um, you know, they weren't terrible, but they are on a three game losing streak, and I think that three game losing streak is just hurting them a bit more. So they've got to win a game. That's all I'll say. They've got to win a game and bounce back. As for Lee, um, you know, they haven't been bad actually. Like, um, their last two wins were against Hull KR and. Uh, that was back in uh, obviously round three, and then they obviously be beated um, St Helens twenty to twelve in round four, uh, and then round five a loss to Warrington thirty eight to twenty. So it's a tough one, very equal. But I will back in the Hull FC, the, the, the Black and Whites, to get the win here at home. I think the Black and Whites will be ready to get a home win, and I trust them to get the home win. So I'll go Hull FC one twelve. But everyone, that brings the end to my Super League tips for two thousand twenty three for around six, obviously. Um, thank you for watching. Uh, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to, to the YouTube channel as well for more Super League content as, you know, this channel is also not just NRL, it's Super League as well. And, um, yeah, you know, I hope you, enjoy, I hope you all enjoy my tipping video. So I will see you all the next one for next um, Wednesday.